Y'all know what we about. A little bit. A little bit. You know, listen. We 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 know we all family. The thing is, when we learn better, we do better. Just like this. Give me Colossians. Uh, 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 now give me uh, uh, Luke eleven twenty seven. Just for instance, if if nobody tell us these things, cause something we just ain't been taught. When we came over here on them slave ships, where the slave ship sign at? We ain't got it. But still, yeah, when we came over here on slavery, we wasn't able to read this Bible. We wasn't taught this Bible correctly. We was being taught by a slave owner. Right. Okay. But when we started reading for ourselves, understanding for ourselves, okay, then it started making more sense. But also, you gotta have somebody that's that can teach you and guide you properly. That's in the spirit of the Lord. But how you get the spirit of the Lord? First of all, you gotta be keeping God's law and that commandments. That's, that's right. right. I can't be out here whoremonging. I can't be out here standing out here teaching God's word and wearing bumps and heels. Okay. I gotta be, I gotta be a man that God intended me to be. In slavery, they broke us. They put the woman ahead of them ahead of us. That to the point where we were more subject to, to big mama and mama, but we gotta understand this. We got to come out the foolishness that we've been taught. We know Easter, that ain't of God. We know Christmas, that ain't of God. We, we so so brainwashed, we still thinking that's Jesus Christ, okay? Well, why we hop on that? Because that's how destroyed our people are. Is Jesus Christ the white man according to the Bible? See what I'm saying? They know it. But we got to stand bold out here. It's right. going to cost us our life. That's, That's right. Took, it cost the apostles, it cost them their lives. Right. But when you speak the truth, did it cost Martin Luther King his life? Right. Trying to gather his people together. It cost Malcolm X his life trying to gather his people together. He just read Zephaniah 2 and 1. Somebody got to make a stand. Right. But what you going to do? You take one out and then all the people go right back to living the same way they've been living. Right. But let's hear what the word of the Lord says. Read that last 27. Luke chapter 11, verse 27. Uh huh. And it shall come to pass as he spake these things. Uh huh. A certain woman. A certain woman. We love our women. We love our black women. Greatest women on the face of the earth. Work. But they don't supposed to be ruling over us. That's what. Okay. We love our mamas. Okay. We'll do anything with mama. We know that they nursed us and, and, and guided us. But at the same time, God said, honor thy father and thy mother. Why we got the mother ahead of the father? When Father's Day come around, fathers treat it like they like we ain't done nothing. Right. We to be the leaders. We the one supposed to be the head. We the one supposed to feed and, and protect the wives. We the protection. Right. We the man of the house. That's, That's right. right. Because God set the order. It's God, it's Christ, then the man, then the woman, then the children. Right. But the roles have been turned now. You see our kids out here like monsters. Right. Okay. But I want to make a point is that, yes, Y'all celebrating Mother's Day? I'm sure you are, right? We're all praising the most high. I'm glad y'all said that. But many of them, I heard a few people ride by, Happy Mother's Day. I'm a, because Hosea 4 6, my people perish for the lack of knowledge. God says, my people. That's the possessive word. Who is this people? Right here in the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. That's right. Let us read that. We're going to go to Joel 27. When we read this Bible, we read this Bible from Genesis to Revelation. We don't go pick and choose what we want to hear, what we want to make us feel, make us feel good. We got to have truth. Me personally, I'm so damn tired of being lied to. Right. That's right. I've been here and there and everywhere searching, trying to get an understanding what my life is here. Why is my life like it is? What's my purpose? Okay. Now I know I am the chosen of God. Okay. But I have a purpose to fulfill too while I'm living here. Right. It's not to just run around here, not be a father or to be a whoremonger. To run out here and sell drugs, uh, 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 treat our women like they're whores. No, that's not what we. Somebody got to set the example in the earth. Bro, okay. Read that. I can't finish that. Luke chapter 11, verse 27. Uh huh. A certain woman of the company uh -huh. lifted up her voice. Yes, she did. And know? said unto him, She said unto Christ, What? Blessed is the womb that bears thee. Blessed be the womb that bears thee. That's what the woman said. But hear what the words of Christ say. Read up. Christ say. And the pep which thou hast sucked, uh -huh. and he said, and he said what? Yea, rather blessed are they that hear the word of God, and what? And keep it. That's the point right there. That's, That's right. The, yeah, we love mama, but he said, blessed are they that hear the word of God and keep it. Right. Give me Joel 2 and 27. Again, 
It sounds like we're talking racist or, or prejudice. Well, what is racist? Racist mean I'm for my people. Work, work. I care and love, for, I stand for my people, okay? Racist don't mean that I'm hating the other nations. I don't have I don't have no I don't I, I don't I don't have nothing against them, but God does. Why? Right. Because these are the people in, in, in Psalms 83 that put us in captivity, that put us in slavery, that keep us down in the low in the, in the ghettos in the slums. Okay. Have you ever read uh, uh, Psalms 83 about the crafty council? I'll touch it just for a minute. I appreciate y'all giving me a little time. No, go go to Joel first. Joel, chapter 2 and verse 27. Uh -huh. Now, I never heard this read in church. I never heard pastor preach this or teach this in church. Read it. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. God said, I'm in the midst of who? Israel. Israel. And what? And that I am the Lord your God. I'm the Lord your God. And what? And none else. And what? And none else. I didn't write that. I can't, change, I can't add or take away from that. That's what he said. Give me that in Amos. You see, I'm the Lord, your God, and none else. Now, yes, we were a disobedient people. We fell from God's not keeping his law, statute, commandment. He punished us by sending us over here in slavery, captivity. You don't want to listen to me just like you got son. You don't want to listen to me, you get out of my house. Am I right? That's right. Same thing the most I did. Y'all know about the particle son, okay? He wanted out there, sinning, and doing what he wanted to do, but he come to his senses, okay? That's the, that's the children of Israel. That's the, read that. Amos, Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. He's, now again, Captain Carl was saying he's only dealing with the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. The so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we make up the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. When you ask most people how many gates is it to the kingdom of heaven, what they tell you? They'll tell you one, but like he said, it's 12. Right. And those 12, that's written on those 12 gates are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. That's right. But if you don't know that's you, you're thinking that you will watch a movie, you think that's, uh, what's the name? Charleston uh, Heston right. and white folks. Okay, you watch the Easter show, The Passion of the Christ. Okay, we remember all them, them shows, but them were black people. The Israelites, right. Christ was a black man. That's right. right. Our people was a black man. Mary was a black man. Ezekiel, right. Jeremiah, Isaiah, Paul, they was a black man. And they was from the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. But you in the land of your captivity, okay, you wouldn't know that. Joel Osteen ain't gonna teach you that. Creflo Dolly ain't gonna teach you that. Word. Am I right? So, there again, we ain't out here sugar, sugar coating them, trying to lie, trying to lure anybody in. We gotta teach what just says the Lord. Right, but you know right. why? We held accountable now. That blood would be on my hand and all of our hands, okay? We are the priests. We are the preachers. We are the pastors. We are the leaders. We're supposed to be ruling this earth. And we're gonna come back to that. When Christ comes, we're gonna rule again. Those that are repentant and in the faith of Christ, okay? Read on. Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, uh -huh. against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. We were the ones that came out of Egypt. Right. Okay? The same people that we was in captivity to in Egypt, okay, they were black, black people too. They were people of color, let me say that. They were people of color also, okay? The Zulus, the Watusis, that's who they really are. See, there again, Hosea 4 6. Let me go to that. This is why, this, this why we've been jacked up so much of not knowing. Where is our place in this Bible? Okay? Where, where's, our, where's our history? Where we, we just came over here on slave ship and that's all we know about ourselves? No, it's more to it than that. Okay? We was in the Egyptian captivity. We was in the Assyrian captivity. We was in the Babylonian captivity. The Persian and Mede captivity. Okay? Then you had the, 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 the what's the Greek? The Greek captivity, which they took that out of the Bible so you couldn't piece, put the pieces together to realize that not only the so-called black man, but the Hispanic and Native American man also are our brothers. They right. are, okay, they are people too. And they're in the same condition that we are in. The same condition. Read that. Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6. Now I always go to this because this is one of the scriptures that always stuck in my spirit right here. Read it. My people. My people. What? Are destroyed. For a lack of knowledge. For the lack of knowledge. Is it knowing the, the, how many stats the LA Lakers uh, 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 got to get the, at the game? 
who going to the next uh, playoff, the statistics of, of, of the, the next uh, heavyweight fighter. No. What is the what is what is the the, 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 the the lack of knowledge of what? Of God's law, statute, commandments. First of all, knowing that we are God's chosen people. Right. We are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. That's okay? right. The people that's over there claiming to be the Jews are not the Jews. Right. They are Jewish, meaning pertaining to sort of. If I say your suit, uh, matter of fact, your shirt is 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 kind of greenish, but but I see this beige. Am I right? Right. Exactly. So these words, you got to listen a lot of times. You got to hear hear the, hear what the spirit is saying. Okay. We've been lied to. We've been bamboozled. That's what's been going on. You know, Prophet Smith will always tell us that we've been lied to. We've been bamboozled. We've been hoodwinked. Okay, but read on. My people uh -huh. are destroyed for a lack of knowledge uh -huh. because thou hast rejected knowledge. We rejected knowledge. That's why we ended up over here in slavery and captivity. Read on. I will also reject thee uh -huh. that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. We forgot what? The law of thy God. That's why, again, when we was over here, they like Captain Carl was saying earlier, they shaved our beards off. That was a law for us a man, like you wearing your beard, you're wearing a beard. We supposed to wear a beard because it showed manly dignity. Not only that, it's a law, That's okay, right. for the Israelite. It's a law for us that was given to us. When Moses came down out of that mountain, he had more than just 10 commandments. Bring it up. Okay, there's over 600 something laws to govern the man, the woman, and for all the nation of Israel. Because right. we are a nation, right. okay? We're not just no black, Hispanic, that niggas cool spit. No, we have an identity. And they're trying to take that identity away from young men like that in the schools even now, this very day. Okay? Because what it does is points back and show who they really are and what they really done to us. Okay? He ain't the white man. So we ain't out here. We, not just the white man, but you got the Chinese man. You got the Arab man. Okay? You got the African man. You know how you say that your own people sold you to slavery? But that's a lie. No, we're not the same people, okay? Right. They come from Ham, we right. come from Shem. That's right. Okay? Read that. I will also forget thy children. Uh-huh. What, so what's, what's the, what, the knowledge? Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7. So there you see, we ain't out here putting stuff together. The Bible interprets itself. The Bible speaks for itself. We don't, right. Like I said, we ain't supposed to add or take away to it. Right. Okay? Right. But you see how people being bamboozled, they've been lied to for so long, and we continue to walk in the path of sin. We, we, we continue to walk in that path of not the knowledge of God, which is keeping his laws, okay? When you start keeping God's laws, statutes, and commandments, okay, then Most High start illuminating your mind through way of the Holy Spirit. Right. The Holy Spirit is the Word of God. Right. The Holy Spirit is Christ, right. okay? Read out. Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7. Uh -huh. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So the priest's lips, he's supposed to keep the knowledge, okay? A lot of the priests ain't keeping the knowledge, okay? That's why our people are destroyed. That's why you get out there, you got Malcolm X, you got Martin Luther King, you got on the march and no justice, no peace, but then it never fixed anything. We see the, 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 the killing that goes on with our young men. Where's the preacher at? Where's Where's, uh, 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 what's his name, Al Sharpton? Where's he at? Read up. Okay. Where's he at? Where's some of these other preachers at? Why they ain't in the, in the neighborhood? Why they ain't out in the hedges and highway? Why they not going in the ghettos in the slums? Right. Waking our young men up. Waking our young uh, women up, okay? Teaching them to put on modest apparel. That's right. According to the scripture, okay? Teaching our men not to be whoremongers, okay? Because this starts with us, too. It ain't going to take but a few words whisper something in a girl's ear and get in her mind, then next thing you know, her draws off. Then you got her pregnant, you're not married, and you tearing down a nation instead of right. building a That's nation right. up. Right. We're supposed to be nation building. That's right. Why you think they got all these abortion clinics on all the corners, okay? Because they know our people don't have no identity to know who they are. And what they supposed to really be doing is keeping God's law, statutes, commandments, and that's why they destroy it. Right. So it takes godly men like all of us to repent, learn God's word, learn his word, and go out and teach his word, okay? Whether they hear it or whether they won't hear it, whether they forbear. Read the rest of that. For the priest's lips uh -huh. should keep knowledge, uh -huh. and they should seek the law at his mouth. Seek the what? The law at his mouth. So the people are looking for answers. They look for answers from you. Well, Marcus Garvey, again, Malcolm X, 
uh, 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 Martin Luther King. You know, we got prominent black men, okay, athletes, singers, entertainers, whatever we, 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 we whatever you want to category you want to put us in. We have prominent black men, but they don't have the knowledge of God. Right. They're not they're not leading our people. They it's all, is it all about sports? We was in that one time. Y'all know the mindset we had at one time. It was all about sport. Okay, we were uh, uh, being out here, getting money, driving the fancy cars, getting the fancy women, okay, selling the drugs, having as many women we want. But what about the family structure? When you see young men out here, now they shooting each other gangbangers. Where's the fathers at, okay? The mothers can't teach a man like a man can teach a, a young kid. Now these, these kids, these young kids, uh, are, are infeminate. Give me uh, one, uh, first Corinthians 6 and 9. Now the young men walk around here feminine. As y'all see, this place is getting ready to turn. It's already is spiritually, okay, not physically, but spiritually, in Sodom and Egypt. That's right. That's what it's going back to. Bring it up. Okay. That's what this place is going back to. And we don't get a grip, like Kevin Carr said, out of the Bible, two thirds of our people is going to be destroyed. That's all. Because they ain't going to repent. They ain't right. going to turn back. One third of our people is going to line up with this Bible and what thus says the Lord and follow as such. Keeping the commandment, the high holy days, okay? We've been keeping a lot of stuff out of tradition of men. Right. And we, you know, we thought we was doing what was right. But it's been all wrong. And God ain't accepting that. That's God ain't going to accept any sacrifice. If you say present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. To be Word. holy, you got to be separated. That's right. That's right. The Bible is holy because it's separated from all other books in this world. The laws, as a nation of people, the word holy, it separates us from all the other people on the right. face of the earth. Right. That's just how we are as a black man because we was the one created in his image and likeness. Okay? Image and likeness. So we got to keep God's law and statutes command. So we got to go back and learn little by little, okay, I was doing this wrong. Okay, I'm not supposed to do this. That's what I had questions about when I realized that I got to get out of this Christianity. Because Christianity, not Christian, Christian means Christ-like. Christianity, we should be walking around with white sheets on our heads with uh, uh, nooses in our hands, sicking dogs, killing, and, and, and just uh, 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 operating in what we call white privilege. Okay? Word. Read that. First Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. Uh -huh. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of what God. What makes us righteous? The unrighteous. So what is it that makes us righteous? Listen. Let me hold that for a minute. Y'all always say, well, the laws are done away with. Christ, he, was, he died and uh, he was nailed to the cross and the, and the laws are done away with. A lot of people think that in Christianity, that's what they're being taught. The laws are not done away. So that means I can go out here and rape a woman and not and, and not get the judgment of, of sin from God because of doing that sin? You think God will not judge me because of that? I can go out here and rob a store. Even the laws have to, even the land have laws that we have to abide by. Even in our captivity, we got to abide by the laws of the land. We got to make sure our paperwork right for the car insurance. If we carry a gun, we got to make sure we have a gun permit. Right. We got to make sure we do things as, as the scriptures say, 1 Corinthians 14, 40. Don't go to it. All things must be done decently in order, right? Decently in order. If you don't, because you up on the rulership of a, of a whole nother nation, and you ain't going to get away from it. That's why God put us up under this captivity, because our disobedience. Right. And until we get it right, we ain't going to come out of this, this captivity. We ain't going to come out of it. If we think we're going to come out, we're going to be dead. That's one thing about it. We're going to be put to death, okay? You want to finish that? Yeah, finish that. First Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. Uh -huh. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Uh -huh. Be not deceived. Be ne not deceived. Neither fornicator, uh -huh. nor idolater. Idolatry. That's, that's one of the biggest things they got us on, It's idolatry. Okay? That's the biggest thing they got us on. All these idolatry, these, these so-called holidays, we're supposed to be holy days. We've been consuming idolatry, okay? But at some point, as a man, we start growing up, we ought to start wisening up, am I right? But the only way we're gonna wisen up is keeping God's law, statutes, commandments, okay? That's By searching the scriptures, okay? And doing, not just being hearers of, but doing what it actually says. That's right. Read that. Be not deceived. Be not deceived, because we've all been deceived. Even though we stand on this side, we were standing on that side. Y'all were standing on we, Either way, we all been deceived as a people. These 12 tribes have been deceived. We've been lied to. Read on. Be not deceived. 
deceit, uh -huh. neither fornicators, nor idolaters, uh -huh. nor adulterers, nor effeminate. Effeminate, that's, big, that's the biggest thing that's going on today. Effeminate, they pushing this agenda on these young men, that's right. these young kids, okay? Mm -hmm. You got men through the TV, through right. the cartoons, okay? I got sons too. Okay, I even had to take them out of school right. and homeschool them to keep that spirit from infiltrating on their minds and into their, into their spirit. Because they're going to operate, act out what they're around and who they're around. You see what I'm saying? They'll be a, be a product of their society. So you go to prison, you, go, you ain't going to go into prison just a little a soft, easy, laid back man. You're going to have to adapt to your atmosphere. Right. Am I right? If you don't, you get killed in there. Okay? It's no joke. Same thing with anywhere we go, okay? That's why we have to separate ourselves, okay? We got to be holy as God. He said, be ye holy for I am holy, okay? Nor abusers of themselves. Abusers of themselves with what? With mankind. Cutting their, women cutting their breasts off, taping their breasts off, taping their chest off, okay? Having during, uh, uh, uh. Even when, when the, 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 the eyelashes, what they, if you learn the history about that, they call it umbrellas, okay? We, we, had, we read about it the other day, but that was something that was created for the whores or the prostitute to keep a man from putting semen in their eyes. Right. Bring it up. You see our women walk around here now like this is how we supposed to look, and they think it's fashion. Again, my people perish for the lack of knowledge. God never intended us to be like that. Right. And we take on all the, he said, learn not the way of the heathen. Okay, in Jeremiah 1, in one, is that 1, 10, 10 and 1? Right, learn out the way of the heathen. And we did that, and that's why we constantly found ourselves going into captivity. Going into captivity. Then the prophets, God raised up a prophet to speak the word to our people, and they killed the prophets, okay? So it's been a continuation, but this is the last captivity in America, Babylon the Great, that we're going to be in. That's this right. is the last one. This is the final cry, that's okay? Right. Even John the Baptist said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's right. Christ himself, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's right. Now, we telling you this very day, because we ain't just jump out here yesterday. We realize now that we got to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. That's, That's right. What's that? Verse 10. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, uh -huh. nor revilers nor extortioners uh -huh. shall inherit the kingdom of God. Let me do wrong 76 and I'm gonna let it go. But listen, I hope we say it's something, brother. Something that, you know, because we still learn. We don't know it all. The only one man that knew it all, that was Christ, okay? But we as a people, we gotta start somewhere, and it starts, again, keeping God's law, statutes, and commandments, okay? Not just the 10, it's way, all those 600, and something laws, they all still fall upon the, the ten. Right. Okay. Okay. Christ even said, uh, what he said, thou shalt love uh, the Lord thy God with all thy heart, mind, and soul. And thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two, right, all the laws. That's okay? right. You can take those ten. He broke, he separated and made them. Just those two right there cover all those ten. But there's a whole bunch of other laws that applies to us as Israelite. Israelite black men, Israelite black women. Hispanic and Native American women. Read that. You know what I'm saying? Six. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. Uh -huh. Neither shall thy... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm 7 and 6. Uh -huh. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Again, God knows. This is way back in Deuteronomy, okay? Read on. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people. We didn't choose him. He chose us. I'm standing here because he chose me. He chose us. I didn't, I didn't choose this. I didn't know this where I'll be standing there in 2022, okay, talking to y'all. This wasn't my plan. This wasn't my idea. But I know now I have purpose. What is my purpose? Read on. He chose thee to be a special people unto himself. So I have to be a special people, okay? I got to be different than all the other people on the face of this earth. So do you. So do we. Okay, read on. Above. What? Above. Oh, man, you talking racist. Above. Uh-huh. Oh. People that are upon the face of the earth. So you read that in Deuteronomy 76, okay? That's in the Old Testament, as you would say, but it's all a testament, okay? It's all a testament. You can go to the book of Revelation. You're still gonna see here again, he chose us as to be his people. Ain't no if and the body. So again, brothers, that's why we out here. 
Why are we teaching like this? Hollering and screaming, because that's the passion. When you know you right about something, when you know it is what it is, and you realize you've been lied to for so long, you had that same passion too, am I right? You love your people and you see your people being destroyed, you had that same passion for your people too, if you love your people, that's okay? Right. Now, not all Israel is Israel. Because you're going to have some people that's going to hate the hell out of us. That's okay. But they ain't, we can't expect everybody to love us and, and like us. Okay? They didn't love Christ. They didn't love none of our, uh, the, the prominent leaders that tried to set an example for us. Even though they didn't have the fullness of understanding what was going on, they knew they needed to gather, get their people together in one mind and one spirit. And that one mind and one spirit has got to be up under the spirit of Christ. Okay? So I appreciate y'all listening. Antoine, I know. Tell we go back a long way, man, you know, uh, out in the world and, 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 and trying to get our minds right too, man. And it's good to see that, you know, I appreciate y'all listening and hearing us out because it's got to go forth. It's got to go forth, okay? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how we're men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth